In this session, I'll be talking about data collection. Objectives of this session are the discussion relative to data collection tools and techniques, identify potential data sources, and then make judgments about the quantity and type of data required to effectively study a process. Relative to the overall DMAIC roadmap, the Integrated Enterprise Excellence DMAIC roadmap, we are now in the analyze phase. One aspect of the analyze phase is to collect data and plan for the collection of this data. Data can come from various sources. You got historical data, you got current process data, maybe a new process data, or you might be experimenting, and that could help you collect the data. Each one has pros and cons. So in this particular slide, and also in Table 17.2 of IM3, I list some of the pros and cons of historical, current process, new process measurement, and experimentation. So these are items that we need to keep in mind whenever we're collecting data. Relative to sampling, we uh, need to assume or have stability of our process from a 30,000 foot level point of view. So if your process has changed and you stage a chart, you really need to take the data from the recent region of stability. Also, the lack of stability can result in conclusions that can be erroneous. But again, I'm talking about stability from the 30,000 foot level tracking point of view. Representative data can be more important than a lot of data. I've heard people go in and determine a sample size in their lean six sigma quadrant of maybe 200, and so they collect 200 samples all made from the batch, same lot of material in the same time of day. That's not a representation of the population of interest. You would rather have data captured over a long period of time, which then that could be a representation of the process. So take 200 parts that are all manufactured one day or 200 calls in a call center all in one day is not representative of the population that we're really interested in there. So I prefer to have less data, but data that is representative of the population. So in summer, we talked about potential data sources, election, uh, data collection tools and techniques, some of the issues about the quantity and type of data required.